Hey everyone, welcome to this EMT prep video on calculating medication drips. We're going to be talking about dopamine, and I want to make a quick note about dopamine before we begin. There's a lot of different tips and tricks out there for how to do dopamine in the field, but this is going to go more over the, the manual method, so to speak, of how you can uh, show your work when you calculate a dopamine drip. A lot of times we get quizzes where uh, things like this need to be written out, so we're going to go over that. So the first thing we need to do is remember our uh, drip calculation formula. And the one we're going to use for this one is prescribed dose times drip factor over concentration in the bag. For the purposes of this specific example, we're going to use an 82 year old female. We'll say she's in cardiogenic shock and we need to give dopamine. Dopamine is a drug that is usually given in a, uh, a dose range of about 2 to 20 micrograms per kilogram per minute, depending on the type of effect you're looking for. For this patient, we're going to start at a 5 mic per kg per minute dose. We're going to start out with a drip set of 60 drops per mil, so this would be a micro set. And if you haven't seen this before, you might be wondering, what is GTT? GTT is actually a shortened version of the word gute in Latin, which means drip. So you learn something new. The concentration in the bag of dopamine, regardless of uh, the size of your bag, whether it's a liter, 500 mils, or 250, it's always a concentration of 1,600 micrograms per mil. So if we take our weight and multiply it by our 5 mic dose, we get a total of 400 micrograms per minute. So now we can start entering things into our formula. So 400 micrograms per minute times our drip factor of 60 drops per mil is what goes on top. And then we put all of that over our concentration, which again is 1,600 micrograms per mil. When we multiply the numbers up top, 60 times 400 equals 24,000. And again, that goes over 1,600 at the bottom. We cancel out all of our units, and we see that we're left with the units of drops per minute, GTT per minute. So when we do this, we see that our uh, division of 1,600 into 24,000 equals 15 drops per minute. One other way that you might be asked this question is how many drops per second do you need to be giving uh, this patient? So if you've got 15 drops per minute, we're going to be looking for the per second dose, and that would be uh, one drop every four seconds. So you're looking in that volume trawl, one drop roughly every four seconds if you have to do it manually. Thanks for watching. Really excited to bring you this series on MedMath. We'll see you at the next one.